Jerry from Livonia, Michigan has a question about ventilation fixation. Well, his 1940s bungalow, Tom, has ridge and can vents, but no soffits. So Jerry writes to us, he says, I have dual issues here in Michigan, heat and humidity in the summer, and ice dams in the winter. He's got the best of both worlds here. Uh, I thought about a radiant barrier to help address summer heat, but how can I add an intake when the soffits aren't a possibility and the roof was reshingled right before I bought the house? So I know a single over air intake vents that are a possibility when I re redo the roof. But uh, what are my attic ventilation options for intake in the meantime? Quite frankly, because you don't have any soffits and you have no way to have an intake at all, I would get rid of all the ventilation and I would tighten that puppy up as tight as I could. Uh, and that way you won't have the problems. Now, summertime, don't put a radiant barrier in there. It's not gonna do you a lot of good as far as that goes, just because you're gonna have, if you, if you have the proper amounts of insulation for Michigan, the radiant barrier will do so little, it's not worth the trouble because you're overextending the insulation for the winter months. That's why you don't see them used in areas of the country that are up and around the Michigan area. We call it a zone one area. And so it's not used at all. So what I would do is make sure you probably have about an R42 or more up in that attic. I would pack it full of insulation so the heat from the inside of the home doesn't get into that space. And I would tighten it up so the moisture from the outside doesn't go into that space because that's what's happening now is the hot air is taking the, the water into the attic and that's causing a problem. So you want it to stay real cold. You want your roof deck to stay real cold to avoid those ice dams. So I would get rid of all the ventilation and I would say, I think you'd be better off and make sure you have a super amount of insulation in the attic on the, on the floor of the attic and just button it all up tight. Well, how, I, I get why you wanna do that, but how are you gonna do that um, without pulling the roof off to do it? I mean, you just how would take you get the, the vents off and you get shingles to match and you weave them in and just tighten it up uh, and just get rid of the vent holes. So there's no air dropping into the attic. So just replace it with shingles. You can, uh, hopefully if the roof isn't too old, he can find matching shingles and they can weave it all in and just cover up the hole. We do it all the time. All right, you want some good advice from Tom? Go click on that blue Ask Tom button at homeshowradio.com. Fill out the form, send us pictures and uh, videos, anything else you can to help us understand what you're trying to do. Because Tom likes to post a new one of these every day, and so we do at homeshowradio.com, uh, on our YouTube channel, of course, on our Facebook page, too.